over them for Kevin. Yes, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the adventure. And today we are here, we're in Madrid for the biggest Champions League game this season as Real Madrid take on Manchester City. The best two teams in Europe, Real Madrid take on Manchester City in another Champions League semi-final. And if it's anything like last year, it's going to be amazing. Last year at the Bernabeu, City were taught a valuable lesson. Two goals from Rodrigo in added time sent Real Madrid from two goals down on aggregate to level. They ended up winning an extra time and going on to win the Champions League. But this city is a different city. The main man, Erling Haaland, is breaking record after record and is the Champions League top goal scorer. City haven't lost for three months and are in unbelievable form, but haven't won a game away in Europe from the Etihad Stadium since September. It's going to be a Champions League classic at the Bernabeu. Will Madrid take a lead to Manchester or will City silence the crowd? I'm so excited and if it's anything like last year, it's going to be another Champions League classic. Make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join me on my adventures as tomorrow I'm off to Milan for the Milan derby. It's going to be insane. Anyway, as is this game, this game's going to be insane too. Let's go on our trip to Madrid. Well, we have made it to Madrid and we're here. We're going to be here tomorrow night, but we're here now. We're doing the Santiago Bernabeu tour. It's time for a montage of my time in Madrid before the big match tomorrow. What a place to start. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the Madrid montage. We are here, we're at the Wanda Metropolitano, home of Atletico Madrid, but that's not where we'll be tonight. So it's time to swap this place for the Santiago Bernabeu for a massive Champions League semi-final between Real Madrid and Manchester City. Come on, City! Madrid are making an absolute racket behind me. I'm not getting involved in that mosh pit. I'm going to head straight in. Let's well, I know where the away end is. Let's go and see. Let's go and get past airport security and the ticket check. Uh, my name is on the ticket, so we should be okay getting in. But the atmosphere is absolutely outstanding all the way around the stadium. There's thousands here as well without tickets. Loads of people selling them everywhere, to be honest. People are just desperate to try and get themselves inside. And loads of tickets and buzz light years. It's pretty cool. We're in, we've made it into the Coliseum of Football for the second time in two days, but this time it is full to the rafters and we're back in the corner, out the way, trapped in like cage little white rats in the netting at the top of the Bernabeu. Obviously, I've had a look at the team. No, Riyad Mahrez is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, the Algerian Prince scored in the game last season here at the Bernabeu, but Bernardo Silva's been favoured in more of the bigger matches due to his experience and the fact that he could drop into midfield and uh, play in the centre of the park when needed if City are losing that battle in midfield. It's going to be a great game against the best two teams in Europe. Let's see which way it goes. Up the City! Come on, boys! City! City! The atmosphere is getting ready with the Hall of Madrid anthem and the team vote. This anthem gives me goosebumps, even as a City fan. Watching between the nets. Let's have a good one. Here we go. Here he comes. Walk 
goalkeeper's going to have to literally be on his best. Oh, that's a chance. Flat netting is awful. We're literally caged in, especially this one. This one's really thick. So nervous, but Madrid is so disappointed. They're sitting deep and they're waiting to pounce on the break with Vinny and Rodri. Well, I'm a little bit on edge, but also the fact there's a massive Alsatian behind me. Space in for Bernardo. He's going to cut it back. Oh, Courtois forced into his first save from De Bruyne. Really good move, put them open in the midfield. Uh, Modric got a bit caught there. De Bruyne played it in. Brilliant ball out to the right, got it back. Good effort, good save from, well, Courtois and De Bruyne don't get along, do they? Well, the key battle of this game is going to be Vinicius Jr. against Carl Morgan. He's going to have to be on his game watch because Vinny will take advantage of it if he's not. But Rodri's just had a good effort from about 30 yards out. Uh, well, 20 yards out. Good save for Courtois. That was sneaking it. That's it for City. Here he is. Oh, straight at Courtois. Courtois, three saves in the first 14 minutes. He's going to be a busy boy tonight if things keep carrying on. City are exposing the drill in midfield. Oh! Oh, another save for Courtois. Haaland at the back post. We've got to start taking these chances. Rudiger's walking away quite guiltily. All the City players are surrounding the referee. I'm not sure what's going on. It was off the ball because Camavinga had it over here. Well, sometimes again, like I was here last time, we just got to say what the goal that was. The open is up on the left of Camavinga. It was caught from the Ruben Diaz mistake. He dribbled out too far, lost the ball out of the position. John Stones had to go over and cover. Walker came into the middle and it was a three on three. What a strike from Vinicius Jr. No chance for Edison. 1 0 to Real Madrid. Arguably, City have been a better team, but that's what Madrid did to him. Yeah. Mike stays down for the minute. Oh my god, nobody there. And that's half time at the Bernabeu. It's a really disappointing half for City after starting the game so strongly. Well, half time, and what can I say? We've been brilliant, to be honest, but we just didn't take our chances, in which we brought Erling Haaland to do. Um, let's talk about Madrid's goal, and they just sat back, let us have the ball, they're like, right, we're happy for City to have the ball, uh, but as soon as City have the ball, as soon as they make a mistake, we're going to branch off on it. We've made two, we got away with one, with Vinicius Junior crossing it, and brilliantly intercepted from John Stones, the second one we didn't get away with. It was Diaz who ran to the edge of the box, out of position, punished. Camavinga exposed the space in the midfield, Walker was nowhere to be seen, gave the ball to Vinicius Junior, if he took it the inside of his foot, and it just curled, usually you finesse them into the far corner, but no, he's gone near post, and it's just a great hit, to be honest, and they punished us, with Diaz not being there after making a mistake, and that's what the best teams do to you, I think we've been decent, but now we're chasing the game, we need the next goal, we can't really go down 2-0, I think that would be really, really, really bad, to be honest, I'm just disappointed, because we've been playing well. Second half is on the way, we must score the next goal, come on City. Well, Madrid said there's no way to stop Erling Haaland, but Rudiger and Alaba are sitting so tight to him. And when Alaba keeps himself close to Rudiger, Haaland's getting no room whatsoever. They make it look so easy, they just don't lose up to the extreme. Brilliant back for the finish, just in a triangle between him and Rodrigo. Set mental army, pull it over with his left foot. They make the ball look so easy, but we can control this game. We did it in the first 20 minutes. Yes, Madrid are unbelievable, that dog is creeping me out. But Madrid are unbelievable. Just need to control. Here, Kevin, what a save! What a save! Man, he is the best goalkeeper in the world, and no one comes close. Oh, Jack, take him on. He's better. Oh, who's there? Broner is. Straight out, Broner. Oh, block! Oh, block! Come on, City, they're making mistakes. We need to capitalise on one of these chances. We're getting exposed on this left hand side. It's a brilliant tackle. Well, Grealish has been magnificent this season, but in this game he hasn't. And every time City have the ball, they predominantly attack down this left hand side. And Grealish ain't getting past Carvajal, and if he does, he's getting snapped by Rudiger. So we're not attacking down the Madrid's left hand side where Camavinga is, who's not even a left back. Grealish, come on, take him on. That's nice from Gundogan. Essentially, no options there over them for Kevin. Funny enough, the goal's come down the left. <laughs> Grealish just 
puts up with a nice inside ball, pulled across, too much space for De Bruyne, and he bangs it into the back of the net. When you get De Bruyne that much space on the edge of the box, but there's only one result. It's a goal. It's one all. It's deserved. It's on balance of the game. I think no team deserves to be behind. Goal, goal, goal. We got the best football team in the world. We got Rodri and Gundo, Villa, Bernardo, Kevin De Bruyne, and John Stones. This is a big chance of Real Madrid. It's Rodrigo. It's over. We just need to keep control of this game. We're winning that battle in midfield. We made a mistake there. We gave Real Madrid a free kick on the edge of the box. Uh, but it was fired over from Rodrigo. Keep this control of midfield. The chance will keep coming. And maybe a goal will show for it. Without a dream in my heart. Without a love of my own. Blame him! Oh, so good. Oh, what a save. What a save. Away with one there. Switched off from the free kick. Good save to Medic. Going for one, or is this going to be a Leipzig? Come on, Pat, this game's for Bode and Alvarez to run down that left or right hand side really calls Madrid and not makes any change in the defence. So, why not bring two players' fresh legs to run at that defence? That's why I bet he's really tough for Edison there. Great effort from the edge of the box. Good save by the Brazilian boy Edison. Right, I don't know why we've not made any subs, but we could have potentially got some quicker players on the wingers uh, to run against this Madrid team who look tired. But we're into the 90th minute. And that's it, winner takes all at the Etihad next week. It's a good draw for City, we'll take that. Full time then, after Santiago Bernabeu, I'll take that. That is a good, that is a good draw for us. Winner takes all at the Etihad and advance yet because it's at our home. Uh, we've still not won an away game uh, in Europe since Sevilla and that is the only one that we've won this season. But I'm happy with the draw here, that is a good result coming from 1-0 down as well. Uh, Madrid capitalising on a mistake with a Vinicius Junior screamer, but Kevin De Bruyne has scored a screamer of his own. Uh, a beautiful play on the left hand side. Got a couple of chances, but nothing major. Courtois made a couple of good saves throughout the game. Innocent made a couple of good saves at the end, especially for that Trois many shot for the edge of the box. Honestly, what game of football, two of the best teams in Europe going at it. The standard of football was just ridiculous. Just no team could make a mistake. The other that up in the podium will punish you if you did. And uh, City created their goal brilliantly, and Madrid capitalised on a mistake from Ruben Diaz. That's what the best teams in Europe do, and these two teams are. What a game, and what a game we're in for next week. to my video here at the Santiago Bernabeu. It's time for me to get some rest after this hour long hold back to head to Milan for the Milan derby. What a game to start off. Two of the best teams in Europe going at it. And an honours even draw. I mean, it's all to play for at the Etihad next week. And don't worry, I'll be there. I'll see you guys then. Peace out from the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu.